Hi, my name is Holly Grimm, and I'm an artist and software developer uh, from Santa Fe, New Mexico. And uh, this uh, painting up here on the upper left here is one of my original paintings from the Santa Fe National Forest. And I used my tool set that I'll be talking about to transform it into these other uh, images that you see here. Um, artificial intelligence and uh, creativity. How does creativity fit into AGI? Um, one definition of computational creativity is that it's a two-phase flow of generation and evaluation. First, novel constructs are generated, and then um, they are evaluated for uh, based on meaningfulness and uh, usefulness. And here's a similar model in reinforcement learning where actions are generated and uh, evaluated. Uh, so for my, uh, creativity in art, uh, here's a list of aesthetic principles that I um, got from Dennis Dutton. And in particular, I'm interested in uh, applying style for this project. So here's a related project that most of us know is the Image Style Transfer Project from 2016. And it demonstrates form uh, in the form of a lion and composition. Uh, for my project, instead of image for composition, I'm using eight art composition attributes that I learned from my art teacher. And here, and I'll be using, I was using the wiki art data set to train on. And so here are some examples of uh, paintings that, uh, that apply to each of these, oops, sorry, uh, to each of these uh, attributes. Um, for instance, variety of texture here is a, this, these are the low values along the top here. Um, it has very little texture, and the lower, uh, uh, lower row has high texture or high shapes, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, for primary color, I use the cyan yellow magenta color wheel. And here are examples for each uh, color in the, um, in the wheel. And here are six images with orange primary color showing color harmony relationships. Um, so for instance, uh, these are all, the orange is the primary color in these paintings. But they have uh, various other uh, colors that are um, also part of the paintings uh, based on these different color relationships. So here's four different major colors in this painting. Uh, so here's a diagram of the network I used. I used a ResNet 50 um, network uh, trained, pre-trained on ImageNet. And uh, each uh, residual block uh, activation is passed through a global average pooling layer and then merged into uh, each of the uh, attributes. If you recall from my previous diagram, the line on the left uh, was the form, but for my tests, I used the CycleGAN apple to orange data set. And uh, so this is uh, where the, a real, an apple is generated and, you know, a, I mean, an orange is translated or a fake orange is generated from the apple and then reconstructed back. Um, in addition to the classic CycleGAN losses, um, I added, I passed this uh, translated orange into my ACAN network along with some target attribute uh, values, and, uh, and then I, I came up with some losses based on that. And so here's some example results. Uh, here's color harmony. Um, after passing the apple in and uh, passing in a high analogous value, it was able to create a, um, an analogous color wheel, basically. And then here's another example here for a complementary color, uh, where uh, the leaf and the background were changed to a blue cyan. And I have another example is a variety of color. Uh, the left is, uh, was an image with um, a lot of color here, and it was translated into a monochromatic red color. Um, on the right shows the opposite case where uh, there were uh, many, it's kind of hard to see on the slide, but there were many colors that were generated. And uh, even with the relatively small data set of 500 label wiki, labeled wiki art images, I was able to um, uh, train on these eight art compositional attributes via the CycleGAN plus the ACAN network and get some pretty interesting results. Um, 
So possible next steps would include applying activation mapping to understand how the different compensational attributes are working. Uh, here's an example from learning photography aesthetics uh, from 2017. And it would also be interesting to replace my CycleGAN network with other form generation strategies like uh, OpenAI's 2018 Project Glow, uh, where they uh, generated these uh, images of faces and bedrooms. And then another cool project from 2015 was where an IRL uh, robotic, app, um, ro robotic agent generated the actual physical paintings here on the right. Um, using uh, uh, inter inverse reinforcement learning. Uh, you can find my blog post for this project on my website, and the code is on GitHub. And uh, again, here's another painting of mine in the upper left-hand corner uh, with uh, some of um, the generations uh, that I got from my network. Uh, I'd like to thank OpenAI, and in particular, my mentor, uh, Christy, and Larissa, and the rest of my scholars. Thank you so much. <laughs> Any questions? Sure. Yeah. So I I, um, I basically just did a merge on those on the uh, from the global average pooling did a merge right into that, and that's actually I think um, learning uh, from photography aesthetics is a is a where I got that particular method of doing that. Any other? And I am always available over here later for questions too. So, okay. Thank you.